What is going on, you guys? It is the Talking Sasquatch, and we're back! Check it out, we got a uh, new mic, we got new camera, if you haven't seen my update video, but it's been crazy. This past week, we've gotten 700 subs alone. Yesterday, TikTok, one of my videos got over 10,000 views. I mean, things are blowing up, I can't thank you guys enough. It's been a crazy ride, and it's really only just beginning. Also, big news, yesterday we opened our own community Discord. Thank you so much for Sticks for setting it up for me. Thank you so much for Dex for boosting it to the stratosphere. We're really going places. We've got a lot of uh, members already, so we're having a great time. For those of you who are new here, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, turn on notifications to be kept up to date with all the latest content I'm putting out. I'm trying to put out as much as I possibly can, so if you want to keep in the loop, that's the way to do it. Let's get down to business. One of the things that people ask me all the time is how to get cool animations on their flipper and also how to change the passport photo. So when you press right on the button, it'll show you the little dolphin and where the uh, experience is. Well, we're gonna change that today. It's gonna have to go through compiling it and you're basically making your own custom firmware. So if you wanna learn how to make your own custom firmware, stay tuned. So let's get going. First things first, we need to figure out what uh, animations we want to add. The best way to do that, at least in my recommendation, is to check out my repo. Because not only do I have my animations, but I also do have links to other creators. And I'm adding to the list as, you know, as we go, as more people are making content. Also, I do have a link to my animation making tutorial. It's pretty in depth and it's, if you wanna figure out how to make your own animations, it's a great start. I also do have a video with Lab 401 that I will link below for a quick tutorial of how to make animations. So between those two resources, it should be pretty easy to figure out how to make your own stuff. From here, what I've done is I've actually created in all of the different folders, a zip file. So you can actually download my animations individually that way. It's a really good way to, to download animations. It's really easy. I tried to make it as easy as possible. So there are other creators that have repositories that don't have zipped files in it. If that's the case, you can always just copy the URL and use Uber's down Git to download the files that way. It's a great way to download anything off of GitHub. Highly recommend checking that out. So now that we have our files, we're gonna go ahead and decompress those, extract, there we go and we're gonna bring them over into the flipper zero let's just go ahead and open up QFlipper and we're gonna go to the SD card we're gonna pop into the dolphin folder and you're gonna see all of the animations that are already in there I do have kind of a lot of animations in there already whenever you update the firmware it doesn't actually delete anything from this folder so keep that in mind if you are updating and you want to keep your animations all you're gonna to have to do at the end of it is upload your existing manifest.txt file that's all you really have to do to, to revert to your old playlist so what we're gonna do we're gonna drag and drop this here BAM and then we're gonna download our manifest.txt file. So we're gonna just right click that and then, whoops, nope, here we go, download. So we're gonna download this and we're gonna save it right here. This is our manifest.txt. The manifest.txt is effectively a playlist for flipper animations. There are a number of parameters that it checks to see which one are gonna play under which circumstances. You'll notice minimum and maximum butt hurt. That actually is the digital pet, how happy or how sad it is. Minimum and maximum level are the level of your Flipper Zero. The higher the level, the more stuff you've been doing on it. And then you have the weight. The weight basically is how frequently your animation is gonna play. The higher the weight is gonna play more often than something with a lower weight. It's pretty simple, but it takes a little bit of getting used to. What we're going to do today is we're gonna make an animation that's gonna pretty much play all the time, no matter what. I want my Sasquatch Digital Rain to be the only animation that plays. If you wanted to have multiple animations, all you really have have to do is have multiple animations let's see let's delete these now only these two animations will ever play it's as simple as that what I like to do is just to go in and copy the name of the folder directly so we're gonna do that control C go back here and then highlight that control V it's super easy to make a typo, and if you make a typo, this is not going to work, it's gonna break. I'm also gonna change the max butthurt to 14, which is the maximum value, I believe, and minimum level, maximum level, that's perfect, so it plays all the time. I'm gonna change my weight to eight, because I always use weight eight. 
I'm not sure if that's the actual maximum, but most of the stock animations are only weight three, so we don't really have to worry about things playing too often. Control S to save. One thing to also be aware of is that there is a internal animation. It's the flipper sitting on the couch watching TV. That will never go away unless you compile your own firmware and bake your animation into it. It's a fail safe. It's basically if you screw up your manifest or if there's something wrong with your animation, then it will play the flipper on the couch TV watching guy. I hate that animation with a passion because as an animator, every time I mess something up, that guy was there taunting me. So he's not my friend. Now that we've got our manifest, we can go ahead and close this and we're gonna drop that file into our flipper. So another drag and drop, bam, super fast on that one. All right, we'll go back here and then we're gonna reboot the flipper. So we're gonna do that old back and left thing one more time, shebang. Wait for it to boot back up and then hey, look at that. It's the digital rain. It's really that easy. You can put any animation you want to on your flipper. It takes literally a matter of seconds once you figure out how to do it. You can put as many as you want on there. Just be a little bit aware that there are limitations to animations and some of the animations that creators have made are kind of pushing the limits of what the flipper can actually do. If you're a little bit too ambitious when you make an animation and it's got 60, 70, 80, 100, 150, 280 frames. Like I've seen some people trying to get away with. It's gonna make the flipper laggy, if not crash outright. And that's gonna be how you see the flipper on the couch. And no one wants to see that guy. Now that you're a black belt in installing animations, we're gonna go and move on to playing around with the passport photos. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hop back over to my GitHub and then check out Curanon's repo. They've got passport backgrounds and profile pictures. The backgrounds are just basically the backgrounds. So you can actually change the top and sidebars, super cool. You can also change the pictures. For now, we're just gonna focus on doing the passport photos themselves. It's a little bit easier to demonstrate here. You can see all the thumbnails. I'm gonna go ahead and grab Neuromancer because Neuromancer looks pretty cool. I'm just gonna go ahead and download this, save as. Drop it into the same folder, neuromancer.png. Now that we have that, we need to clone the GitHub firmware repository for the official firmware. So let's show you how to do that. I'll go ahead and search for uh, the official firmware for Flipper Zero. Bam, bam, bam. Download source code. Shebang. So we're gonna need to actually clone this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this. We're gonna open GitHub. You're gonna go file, clone repository, paste that here, and go. A few moments later. We are done now. So what we're gonna do is go into show and explore, cause that's where all your stuff is. And this is what the firmware looks like in all of its glory. So this is literally all of the firmware you can change any file and then recompile it, install it, and then it's custom firmware. Where we wanna go today is gonna be assets, icons, and then go down to passports. There's all our passport photos. You can see there's different photos depending upon the different happiness levels and the different levels you are. So level one, level two, level three, if they're all in, in the higher levels of happiness, that's what that looks like. So what we'll do is actually we'll take this and we'll look at what we're at right now. So this is mine. I am happy number three right now. What we'll do is we'll actually just copy the name of this and we're gonna go and rename our other icon that name. Here's our Neuromancer icon. We're gonna paste the name of that one, move this out of the way, and then drop that back in here. We're gonna replace this file, and perfect. Now, instead of the passport photo that I had before, it's gonna be this one. Now all we're left to do is to compile the firmware. I am a Windows user, so I'm actually gonna use PowerShell. You are gonna wanna install Git and Python. It's super easy to do, just Google it. So that's not gonna be a hard thing for you to do. We're gonna go to the root folder here. We're gonna copy this directly and then set location, set dash location, quotes, paste, boom. That's gonna put us into the root folder for our firmware. Then we're simply gonna run the command to create an updater package. It's dot slash, remember the period before it, dot slash FBT updater underscore package and let her rip. If everything is working correctly, this will compile without a problem. If you run into any issues in the beginning, it's probably because Git's not installed correctly. So let's go. 
and we're done. That took forever. Important thing or interesting thing to know, once you've done this once, if you make a small change in the firmware and then recompile it, it will only recompile the changes so that it won't take anywhere near as long the next time. I've definitely gone through and tried changing code over and over again and the compile takes a fraction of the time. So don't worry. If you want to try to make changes, you want to, you know, mess around, play around with the firmware, go for it. It's going to be a lot faster the next time. You can definitely break the firmware. Usually it won't compile all the way, but you can screw up your firmware. You can basically install something that will make your flipper not run. However, there is a DFU mode, which basically allows you to uh, flash back to, to firmware more or less regardless of what stupid thing you did. So don't worry too much. What we're going to do now is we're going to install our firmware. So it's actually dropped into now we have a new DI IST folder. It, it. Yep, there we go. And we're gonna install this basically the same way that we installed Rogue Master before. I found that this is just a really easy way to install it and it always works. So what we're gonna do is go back, we're gonna open this, we're gonna open that, go to our update folder. If you don't have an update folder, just make one, just make a folder, name it update, but it does want it to be there. We're gonna drag and drop this here, shebang. We're gonna wait for this. Cool, that's done. We're just gonna go back here. We're gonna pop into our screen, we're gonna go down, we're gonna go left, we're gonna go to updates, all right, bam, update. And we're gonna install from the folder that we just created, which was F7 update local, bam, do that, go down to update, bam, run an app, yes sir, install with the right button, and it's gonna disconnect, more completely dead air. So we're gonna catch back when that's done. After these messages, we'll be right back. Ayo, and we're done. Pop back in here, success. Okay, let's click that one. Come back. Oh, I crashed Q Flipper. Whoopsie. It's okay. Hey, <laughs> you know you've had a good time when you've crashed your flipper. There we go. Now we can see our new custom passport photo. It's really that easy. Also, we just learned how to compile and install custom firmware, which is extremely useful uh, if you want to make some cool stuff that, you know, Flipper isn't making themselves. It's open source for a reason, and this is why. I really hope you guys enjoyed our tutorial for the day. Everybody seems to really want to learn how to do stuff with animations and learn how to change their passport photos this is this is how it's done this is how we're all doing it so i'm glad you were long for the ride if you've made it this far thank you so much for watching honestly you're the people that really make me want to make more content it's a lot of work but it's definitely worth it again please like comment subscribe sign up for notifications so you can hear all the cool stuff that we're coming out with join the discord having a lot of fun in there it's actually a great community which just started off tons of people are joining every single day love to see you guys you can chat with me throw me some ideas ideas for upcoming videos. I want to start doing some reaction videos. So throw me clips for those. I'd love to see what you want me to check out. Again, thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you on the flip side.